Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different, back with another video. In today's video, I want to teach you guys how to set your microphone up in Studio One to get your audio interface ready as well. That way you can start recording inside of Studio One. Now, why am I doing this? Because I just made a video on how to do an FS Studio, and I do understand not everybody uses uh, audio records in FS Studio, including myself. I use Studio One, so I decided why not make a video on Studio One as well. That way, when I start doing more vocal tutorial videos, you can follow along in either Studio One or FS Studio. You have everything already set up and you can pretty much do the similar things in there even though they're different DAWs you can still re follow along with the effects and all that in either DAW but I do want to show you how to set up inside Studio One just in case anybody's new to Studio One or maybe want to try Studio One maybe this video could kind of you know help you out in the long run it's a very basic tutorial but at the end of the day you know i feel like it can help somebody up there and like i said i use studio one because i feel like studio one is a better pro tools sorry i know the pro tools guys are gonna hate or love me about that but that's just what it is so <laughs> this is how i feel about it. so let me go ahead and show you guys how to set up your microphone inside of studio one and then you know with that being said we can do like more vocal stuff in the future so let's go ahead and jump inside so before we get to that i want to go to the studio one website real quick and show you the different versions of studio one just in case that way you know you know what version you want to get or if you want to get so um i would say if you're starting out i do recommend the artist version yes it's 99 dollars. it's not really expensive but that will pretty much get you everything you need to get started uh, you don't really need the professional version the studio the artist version has plenty of stuff to get you going like i said the most uh interfaces or products that they sell they automatically give you a free copy of artists so that is dope there is a free prime version which is a very stripped down was a stripped down version think of like pro tools first or any other free plugin out there but it can kind of help you kind of learn to navigate it and understand studio one and you can also actually buy add-ons for prime i think as well to get it to do exactly what you want if you want third party plugin support stuff like that you can actually buy add-ons as you go for prime and go up there or you can pay 15 bucks a month and get the sphere which basically gives you uh studio one professional and it gives you every plugin and every add-on that they make uh for one low price of 15 bucks a month but that is a recurring subscription meaning you have to pay it every month or it cancel but say you want to pay every month but you want to actually eventually one day own say the professional version then you can actually go to splice and do the rent as you own the rent to own program which basically means you pay 16 bucks a month for 24 months and then to the 24th month of the last payment they actually give you a perpetual key which means you have a full license to studio one you ain't gonna pay no more money you own it forever it's yours and yeah so if you're interested in that there is that and i think every time they upgrade to the new version of studio one it will be here so if studio one six come out this will be up here as well i'm pretty sure because they did it with four and they're doing five so i'm pretty sure they're gonna do doing that so yeah if you want to own it you know and pay as you go then studio one professional five right there splice or let's say you can pay for the sphere if you want to do it that way so let's go ahead jump side studio one and let's get this set up so here we are inside of studio one and this is going to be the default splash screen when you come in here show you your, your old projects and all that good stuff and your interface and all that good stuff we're not worried about none of that right now we're just going to worry about going to new song now i got a i'm using an empty template i do have my own custom template and if you want to see me make a template from start to finish i did make a video about templates but if you want to see me make a template from start to finish for you guys let me know in the comments below and i'll teach you guys how to make a just default or a custom template that you can use all the time and have everything ready to go so uh we're gonna do empty song and don't worry about none of this stuff you can name all this change your tempo all that if you want to that's up to you i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna hit okay and it's gonna bring me up a blank uh, song mode so let's say right now we're just focused on setting up the microphone so don't worry about anything extra in here and when we go down the road i'll probably make videos about every other thing in here as well so first we want to go to the studio one icon or logo up here and we go to options it's gonna bring us to here we we'll bring us to the option and we're gonna go to audio settings now first we're gonna set up our interface so whatever asio device you're using i'm using the arturia one that's the one you're gonna click so if you're using a focus right one or using the one there one of the personas ones or as if for all you use like a usb interface or microphone you like a usb microphone or whatever you want to click that as your driver that way you just get the best performance from your interface so just make sure you get that Next, you want to choose your block size or your buffer size. And most DAWs call buffer size. And here they call it block size. Same thing, pretty much. Um, and you want to set to how many samples you want. So me, I like to stay around 64 
to 128. That usually works for me with my interface. Um, most interfaces, if you can't, if that's too much strain on your computer, then 128 and 256 is really good. If you have like a Thunderbolt interface, you could probably go as low as 32 sevens to get like spot on latency. But that's just, you know, you got to experiment with your interface to see what works for you. Remember, the lower the buffer size, the more real time you hear yourself, the higher the buffer size, the more plugins you can add on and stuff like that because that's more time to process them, which is really good for mixing, but for recording, we want to keep it low. And if you go to the processing section right here, you can, if you were in a 64 bits, uh, uh, operate system i would change the 64 bit and you can mess with some of this dropout protection or whatever i wouldn't really mess with that too much unless you understand it it can affect your um it can affect your latency and all that and pops a click so just be careful when you're messing around with this you know just be cautious so yeah so once you got that set up and you got it set up we hit okay now we're going to actually add our microphone and show you how to set your microphone up and ring out by X studio one. Once you set up one time, it's set up and you ain't ever got to do it again. So we'll just right click right here in the empty space or you click T and we'll add up a new track. I got one. I'm calling me. You can select how many tracks you want. So you want four five, six, whatever, different color, auto color, whatever. And you can select if it's mono or stereo. And then you have presets right here. But if you don't have it already set up, you won't see this and I'll show you how to set this up. So let's hit OK. And it's going to give us like a little break track right here. So now let's go ahead and set up our microphone. So if we click right here at the top little drop down, we're going to go to add uh, in and out setup. And it's going to allow us to add either an input or output, basically add an input, add an output. So I already got my microphone set up for like the, at my Aston and my s 7 b and also got my compressor set up as well. Can I talk about that in the future, how to set up hardware in here, but we're going to add a brand new microphone. We're going to add to input number five. Cause I have eight inputs. We're going to add input five. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add mono, but you can't add a stereo. If you have a stereo pair of microphones. So if you want to do stereo microphones, you can do that as well. I'm going to add a mono one cause I have the recording mono and then it's going to add it to input five. I can double click here. I can call it other mic and that's just gonna be you know that i can hit there i can name it whatever and then when i got it set up i just hit apply and boom now microphone input uh input five on my interface is now ready to you know plug in the microphone and start recording and like i say i can do it for all my inputs i have up to eight uh analog inputs i have eight added inputs and i got my two usb loop back which is for my obs thing remember that and you can do the same for your outputs where if you have multiple outputs for like compressors or hardware or all that, you do that as well. So I'm hit OK. And now when I click here, as you can see, I have my other mic ready to go. But since there is nothing plugged up to there, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use my sm 7 b And just to prove that my sm 7 b is plugged up, if you click right here, the little speaker icon, which is basically the monitor, monitor uh, icon. Now you should be able to hear me double inside of Studio One and OBS. And just to prove it, I am not talking inside of the Studio One. I'm just going to record some real quick. So I'm going to arm my uh, recording and then I'm going to hit the record button. Testing, testing, one, two, three. I am showing you guys how to set up your microphone inside of Studio One. Super quick, super easy. And now when I play it back, oh, now when I play it back, Testing, testing, one, two, three. I am showing you guys how to set up your microphone inside of Studio One. Super quick, super easy. And there you go. Right then, there. There you go. Now your microphone's set up and you're ready to start recording. So now you can start dragging in your beats. You can start recording tracks. You know, you can start recording your ad libs, all that good stuff. Like I said, I will make more videos on better ways of recording inside Studio One because I have a few little tips and tricks that I use to record myself and make the recording process a lot easier. And I also want to show you these trips as well because a lot of people aren't really showing these kind of hidden features that make recording really easy and really fun inside of Studio One. So, but right now, with this being said, you now know how to set up your microphone. So you go ahead and set up. So when we start doing these vocal tutorial videos, you'll be ready to go. If you use Studio One or if you're not used to when you use FS Studio, I do have a video doing the same thing and show you how to set up FS Studio as well. So with that being said, y'all know who it is, your favorite nappy headed producer with the Dread Slim, aka Mr. Different. Hope you guys enjoy like always. If you got any questions, leave them in the comment below. Do you use Studio One, do you use FS Studio, or do you use a different DAW? Let me know in the comments below. I want to see what you guys use out there. And with that being said, y'all know I'm not motivated by the money, but the like comment subscribe and views and with that being said psh, hope you have a good one keep recording keep making beats and i'll catch you guys in the next video i'm out yeet